Good morning, people and aliens. Today, today we're starting out the morning with our mushroom. Oh, let me show you. I've been into mushrooms and their benefits for health. We got this longevity with what are the mushrooms in it? King Trumpet, Turkey Tail, Antrodia, Maitake, and Reishi. And there's no sugars, nothing. And I don't know. It makes me feel like a mushroom. My breakfast this morning is gonna consist of like an egg, two pieces of bread, and half my smoothie, or a quarter of it. But this smoothie is so good. It's banana, strawberries, pomegranate, dragon fruit, apples, honey, some water. And I made an acai bowl last night and then this is just the extra. <laughs> it literally reminds me of this bowl I got in Hawaii years ago. But yeah, so I'm just, just enjoying my bread. Um, let's see, I have a call in a little bit for my internship this summer. I'm super excited, it's gonna be really fun, I'll be working in LA, be working in some social media, I'm super excited for that, kinda fulfill my city boy life. I'll be going down to downtown in the mornings, go get my cup of coffee, my bacon, egg, and cheese from the Ark. Um, but yeah, so I have that call in like 57 minutes, so I need to get ready for that, and I kind of need a shower and just prepare myself for the questions to be asked, I don't know, let's do my call and then see where the day takes me. I don't know. Today's, today I don't really want to plan anything. I just kind of want to flow. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so just finished the phone call. It was a quick one. It was only like 10 minutes. Just kind of go over what position I want to do. It was very exciting. But currently working on a resume because I need to update it. Oh god. Oh god, I need to get my hair cut. <laughs> Alright, so done with that. I have another thing at 12. So I have like two hours to kill right now. I'm debating on going to get food and some coffee. I may go walk, but do I really want to walk? I'm gonna do some food research right now <laughs> and try to figure out somewhere to somewhere to eat. We found where we're going to eat. We're gonna go to Dialogue Cafe. Dialogue Cafe in Sunset or Holloway. I don't know. It's in West Hollywood. It looks good. <laughs> this is like unheard of for LA. Like $7 for a breakfast burrito. Beautiful. Amazing. Like good price. So I'm gonna go try this and it looks good. There is another place I want to go try but it's called it's called Bluey's but it's in Santa Monica and I'm not in the mood to drive 30 minutes. <laughs> also new addition to the apartment. I was on my way home the other day and I took, I took like a different route than I usually do to go back, but it's still like on the same street. Like it was still on my street. Cause like my street starts here and it goes so long and it goes down into like the houses and everything. And so I was driving and I, like look to the side and I see like estate sale and I was like I've never been to an estate sale and I've always wanted to 
So I was like, okay, let's go. And just got my paycheck, so I was like, mm -hmm, we'll see. But like right when I walked in, it was super, super expensive. And then I saw this and I was like, I really want it, but it was for like $200 and I was like, mm. he said, oh, it's half off today. So I was like, oh, okay. So like I walked around, looked around and I was like, mm, nothing's really here. I mean, there was, they had this Ralph Lauren cowhide like jacket. I went back to this painting and I was debating on it. I called my friend, I was like, should I get it? And they were like, yeah. And then I like talked to her and I got her down to $70. So I got this for 70, but like it's massive. Like pretty big. I'd say it's like five feet tall. So it was like a good addition to this wall and it kind of really brings the space together. You know, we have that and then we have like our plants. Oh, it looks so good. We have all our plants, that, and that, and the coffee table. It's just making me happy here. It's my happy place. So we're on the way to Dialogue Cafe. It's about 10 minutes away. And I think I'm gonna get like a breakfast sandwich or a burrito or a scramble or a juice. I don't know. I changed out of my shirt. Cause my other shirt was just fitting tight. Not tight, I just wasn't feeling it. So I put on my brain dead shirt and I went to Silver Lake to get it and it was the best. I love Silver Lake. It's so fun. It's just like everyone's so hot there. <laughs> like everyone was fitted. Everyone was sexy. Everyone was having the best time there. And I could not complain. I felt like a troll. On our way for some bracky. And it's so nice out. It's so blue. I finally feel spring and summer coming in. I'm so excited. So much. We just got the food. We got iced vanilla latte, scrambled eggs, avocado, and hash browns. Nice little view the coffee added it to the rotation had to switch that one out my car is so dirty but oh well let's give this bitch a taste we got those wooden utensils because we're earth friendly you gotta be earth friendly fuck i should ask for hot sauce god damn it Let's see. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Holy beans. Holy mamas. That is the best thing. I think those are some of the best eggs I've ever tried. Oh my god. Dialogue Cafe. You know how to make an egg. Let's try a bite on the hash brown. Okay, mm. let's try the iced coffee. They're so eco-friendly too. Dialogue Cafe, I'm giving you a 20 out of 10. Such good food. Coffee could use some work, but your food, fantastic. Shit was mid. Alright, that was actually really, 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 really good. I also feel so grateful that they gave me a hand sanitizing wipe. I don't know why restaurants don't do this for after you're done eating should be obligated oh my god no now i need to go to the bathroom 
and I'm not gonna be back in my apartment for like another hour and a half. Or I could do my meeting over Zoom and then go to my apartment and go to the bathroom. Mm, I don't know. Also, earlier when I said that this place was cheap, I lied. I don't know how, but I ended up spending more than $15. It was not acceptable. We back from everything. I had a really good talk. We talked about separating self from others and thoughts and feelings as well as thoughts from others, feelings from others, thoughts from self, feeling from self, and so forth. And you just gotta be able to keep those boundaries between each separated. Don't let them overlap or bunch together, you know? And it's a way to identify stuff in your life that's kind of holding you back or making you feel otherwise. Or if you just care too much what other people think, separate self from others. I'm just chilling here. It's pretty nice out. A little sunny day. I don't know if it will focus. Oh, it's so sunny out. So nice. I love it. Um, I have to go get my contacts so I can see again. Um, I ran out, so I have to go back home. I have to drive like an hour south go pick them up and then I'm gonna have dinner at home and just chill and then drive back up yeah yeah there's a store I want to go check out but I don't know if I'm gonna go to it because I just saw these supreme shoes that are dropping on Thursday and I kind of want those and I need to save for them so I think I might get them I don't know, I'm choosing between, let's see, there's two colors, it's literally between these two colors, the white and black or the red and blue, I don't know, I really like them, I kind of like the writing on it, but I also just like the style, and normally they're not too bad when they first drop, so we'll see, but, yeah, I don't know, I just... I struggle with clothes. Like, I think I have good style, but I really don't. It's so basic. But you know what? I like my basic. <laughs> but, blah. I have like an hour to kill right now. I literally love my plants. Like, just sitting by them makes me so happy. So many plants. So good. I love it. But, yeah, I'm probably... Really, I should start reading. I need to start finding a new hobby. Is what I've realized. It's kind of hard finding a new hobby. Like, an easy hobby. I don't know. On our way home, it's literally saying that it's like two hours right now and I'm leaving at like three o'clock. What's going on, dudes? What is going on with the traffic? I don't like it. But, yeah, I'm just gonna drive. It's so hot out. Ah! Big bump. The roads are so bad.
my best friend is the fast track lane. It's so quick and easy. I love it. And it made me just cut off literally like 40 minutes. And then I also saw fire on the road. I've just been kind of like enjoying this drive and like people watching and it's honestly kind of a vibe. So I'm just gonna keep listening to my music, watch the people, see how it goes. Oh fuck. No! I went on the wrong exit. Wait, or did I? Yeah, I did. I'm literally looking at my exit. Damn it. Okay. I need to figure this out. I don't really know where I am, but it took off 10 minutes. So I'm gonna continue driving. Yeah. We're here to get the contacts right up there. Let's get them. Got the contacts. I just don't know what else to do. Like I just came here for contacts and dinner. And like I wanna go eat something, but I'm also trying to save my money if I wanna get those shoes. But I'm also like, um, in the energy state of abundant money. Well, I think I'm just gonna head home and pet my dogs. made it home um just gonna hang out with the doggies hang with the fam and have a good dinner so I'm gonna just chill go to the bathroom and yeah all right guys so oh I almost just hit my mom's car finished up dinner I uh, helped cooked a, I helped cooked I helped cook a little Caesar salad, a little kale Caesar, and it's vegan. No, it's not vegan. It can be vegan, but it's vegetarian. It's so good. It's a little. It's some salmon and asparagus, and we just hung out. And I'm just gonna drive back now to LA. Got like an hour drive. Oh fuck! I gotta go get gas. So we need to go get gas first, and then let's start the drive. <gasps> I just let got left my car on, and I have gasoline all over my hand. I'm so surprised. I have gasoline all over my hand, and my car was on. Mm. Okay, well... I love how I turned my car off too. Now, wait. That was so stupid. Okay, let's go to LA. Yeah! <laughs> Hello, guys. So, back in LA now. Um. So before I get into this, in my Trader Joe's, literally yesterday, I was on my way back. And I'm driving, playing my music, having a good time, enjoying my good day. And then, poof, I got in a car crash. 
but it wasn't bad. I got like sandwiched in between two cars. <laughs> it was kind of scary, like it could have been bad. But I'm like such a good driver. I don't know. I just felt weird. But like, at least... What the fuck? Ew. What's on my table? It's sticky. Wait, this is weird. There's like sticky stuff on my table. I need to clean it. But I was just like weirded out when I got home. I was just like, that was weird. That was scary. But I'm all good. And I got Mr. Charlie's. <laughs> um, so I just went on a little walk. Went on like a two or three hour walk. I left at like five and I was expecting to be back in like an hour. No, there was just so much. I found so many new restaurants, some new stores. It was actually a good walk. I was glad I went on that walk. I didn't want to, but I forced myself to because I was going to drive. But I'm glad I walked. And I found this, a vegan McDonald's. So I <laughs> was going to eat it on camera, but... As you can tell, it was mid again. But it was actually really, really, really good. Like, oddly, way better than McDonald's and everything else. It's called the Unhappy Meal. Um, it was really cool. It gave, like, a McDonald's vibe, but then also, like, a future hipster, like, trying, I don't know, like, just the vegan hipster style way restaurant fast food places are. But I waited, let's see, I ordered it, like, I don't even know, there's only two people working and then there was like this machine and people just coming, kept coming in and ordering so I felt kind of bad, so that's why I didn't really care about the wait time, but like I waited at least 30 minutes for it so like you don't get the fast food experience, but like it tastes good Was it worth it? I don't know I recommend going at lunch or something when it's slow because it is pretty good, but not a 30 minute wait worth um, so yeah, that was pretty good, and I loved this little box, like, Mr. Charlie's, the unhappy meal, so good. And then I went to Trader Joe's because I ate that on my walk, because I was so hungry, and then I was like, I know I'm going to get hungry later. So I stopped at Trader Joe's, and I got, like, no dog. There's some really hot people at Trader Joe's. <laughs> you know how to hire some good workers. <laughs> um, then we got sourdough bread. Just I got like literally stuff to last me to the morning. And then I got like some green juice. Gotta have my greens. I've been making acai bowls a lot more recently. And let me tell you, so much better than going out and getting them. And just some avocados. I didn't want to buy them in this because I hate buying this little like thing, just n unnecessary plastic. But all their avocados were too ripe, so I had to cave. Sometimes I cave my environmentalist for my hunger. I don't know. And then got some lemon for my avocado toast. Pretty good. And. Sriracha tofu just to have for dinner or something. I like to make ramen with it or I also make hand rolls with it and it's really good. I'll have to do a little recipe on it. And of course the other favorites which I will be having in like literally 10 minutes. Ice cream sandwiches. Um, thank you for hanging out with me and... What was that voice crack? Hmm? Thank you for hanging out with me. I don't know, today and yesterday were just some random days, some random things, and it was fun. So, I'll see you when I see you.